Hey folks, another example on solving a quadratic equation. This time we are solving by using completing the square. We did a little bit of completing the square in the last section. So the tips that I've given you here are just a copy and paste from the last section. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get C to the other side and I wanna divide on both sides by A. Nice thing about this one is I don't have to worry about an A because my A is the value of one. Step number two says take half of the B value. So you notice here that my B value is negative four. When I take half, that's negative two. I wanna square that number, which is gonna give me a positive four. And then I wanna add that number to both sides. So I'm adding a four to both sides. Now what we wanna do is we want to take our trinomial, tri means three, our trinomial and we wanna factor it. Remember I gave you a shortcut for this in the last section's video. Keep your variable, which is x, whatever the half value of b was in the last step is gonna be the rest of your quantity. So the half of b was negative two. So that's a shortcut then to being able to factor. After you've factored the trinomial, then you want to go ahead and combine your constants. Now that was great for when all I needed to do was rework the equation and rewrite it, but this is actually to solve. So now what I'm gonna do is I need to use the square root property to get x alone. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take the square root of both sides, don't forget your plus or minus. Squares and square roots cancel each other out, so you're just left with an x minus two over on the left, and then you can add your two to both sides, and you have x equals two plus or minus the square root of two. Please do me a favor and write down how many solutions you have and what kind of solutions you have for this particular example.